see you again with another short video. Today's video is about how to teach compound sentences to your students. First, tell them what a compound sentence is. A compound sentence has two or more subject verb combinations. You can tell them that a compound sentence has two or more independent clauses. You can tell them it has main clauses, two or more main clauses. Then give some examples for compound sentences like this. Anne laughed and Jimmy cried. Anne laughed and Jimmy cried. Give them another example. Ravi wanted to go to the shop, but Lal refused to join him. Ravi wanted. Lal refused. So both of these subject verb combinations are combined by but. In earlier one, and laughed, Jimmy cried. Both the clauses, independent clauses were combined by and. Then you can tell them what and and but are. You can tell them and but they are coordinating conjunctions. So tell them that to build up a compound sentence, we need coordinating conjunctions. It's easy to remember the basic, the main coordinating conjunction by using a mnemonic like this. We will call it fanboys. The mnemonic is fanboys. F stands for for, A and, N no, B but, O for O, Y yet, S so. Fanboys. As I told you earlier, this is the mnemonic that I used in my classroom to teach them coordinating conjunctions when I'm introducing them the compound sentences. We'll go through it. F for for, A for and, N for no, B for but, O for O, Y for yet, S for so. So as you all can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's very easy to introduce these seven coordinating conjunctions when you are doing compound sentences with them. So I think that uh, you can try this with your students. I, I hope that it will work. First, introduce them what compound sentence is then you can explain how we can build them by adding words. Use the mnemonic fanboys to teach the coordinating conjunctions to them. I'm sure that they will love this. Try this one with your students. Thanks for watching this short video. Bye.